what we have uh, done before. So there's still a strong slant today on our therapeutic version of the poses. Now we're going to incorporate the ground into our sequence to do the knees. So I love doing all of the chillaxing poses for the knees. The knees are one of those things that are very sensitive for people, so people can do a lot more. Everyone stand in the center of the mat and hold on to your like, loops in your hands, please. You can do a lot more than you can on the ground by floating. So all the lunges, all those poses that are really challenging for the knees, I encourage people to do them in the swing. It usually makes a big difference. So we're gonna lean forward into a push-up position and bend the knees, come on down to the front of the mat. Okay, you can keep the toes tucked under, or you can just release the toes. I'm gonna bring my arms wide and around and come to a simple child's pose. Shake it out. Now in child's pose, we squeeze the knees together and spread the sacrum. Just pay, paying attention to those alignment principles. You can let your forehead drop towards the ground since your belly is being supported by your thighs. And then we inhale and arch, look forward, bring the arms up overhead, and we're gonna pulse, right? So we never drop our ears below our biceps, right? So head, so Shoshana. <laughs> <laughs> so pay attention to where your crown of the head is, right? So if your head drops, if your ears drop below your biceps, you're really straightening the shoulders. So just notice where your ears are and notice where your biceps are and keep your head above your biceps, okay? And we're pulsing just like we do when we're standing in order to get a nice stretch but also strengthening through the shoulders. Where is the gaze? The gaze is up or forward. Thank you. And just notice if your gaze is down and what happens to the weight of the body. Okay, Amy? Gaze is up. <laughs> Where are you looking? <laughs> I know you're looking at your notes, but your gaze is up. We just <laughs> okay, then we can swim the arms wide and back around. So we never drop our head. Wide and back around. Just lubricate the shoulder joints. So for some people, if there's an injury, keep the head above the arms the entire time. Okay, head above the arms the entire time, and just do one arm at a time. The head is really heavy. It's at least eight pounds, and then there's all those thoughts in there. So just notice if you drop your head, how much strain that is on the shoulders. Then we're going to bicep curl up to stand. I like to switch to a wrist wrap if you can. Get the swing in front of you, and lift. So I pull my elbows close to my sides, I push my hips forward, and I'm going to arch and lift through the upper thoracic spine, up through the heart, right? Elbows in, yeah. and then you can lean back. So when you lean back, you drop your sit bones towards your heels, squeeze the knees together, everybody squeeze your knees together even more. There you go. And let the crown of the head find the floor. Now, if you're comfortable, do a few bicep curls here and work the quads. So we're getting the knees and the quads and the hip flexors all at the same time. So lift and lower. Lift and lower. It should be really hard. You can always make it a little bit easier by bringing the leg loops up higher. The leg loops are low. It's actually harder. So lift halfway and lower. Knees are squeezing together. Okay. So from rainbow, we're going to come up back to camel. Let's just go ahead and come into an elbow hang here. If we want to transition into our clearance pose, so you can just stay in child's pose if you like. If you want to transition into clearance, you can tuck your toes under, keep your elbows bent, and tuck into a plow pose. So you have to pull your forehead towards your knees. So in this plow pose, we are not floating yet. Okay? If we want to float, we can slide into a wrist wrap, tuck under, and then you can turn all the way around for clearance. So stay in child's pose or just do the elbow hang, unless you want to flip all the way around. Straight legs the whole time. Try it again. So straight legs the whole time with a gentle landing. And then just come to sit. Come on down to sit. So tuck the forehead towards the knees strongly so there's never weight on the top of the head there. Okay, so we can reverse it and come back through our plow pose, pull your hips to the front of the mat. So this is 
heart clear in sequence. We can lift our hips towards the sky, toes over the head, and that's a way of doing a gentle plow pose. So you can hang up here nice and easy and slow, Lizzie, and just try your plow pose like that. Okay? If you guys want to try clearance again, we're going to come back through child's pose. So come on back around. There's another flip we can do there. We're going to just come back through child's pose. If you don't want to do the flip, you can always hang out in an elbow hook. If you want to do the flip, holding on with a wrist wrap, you're going to tuck in, lift, forehead to knees, and roll over. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. Straight legs, straight legs the whole time. Do it one more time. Just remember, straight legs, straight legs, straight legs. So. These spots are for the beginning of it. Yeah, come through child's pose. So this is how we spot. Do you guys remember how we spot for this one? So I'm gonna come out in front of her. Go ahead and then come up, come up into camel first. Okay. Come up into camel. So that's Sukta Varasana. Camel is on your knees. Oh, oh shine. Okay. okay, tuck your toes under. Tuck your toes under. Okay. So now you're gonna just camel feet. Please come up to camel, okay. and then bend forward towards me, bring your arms back behind you. Yeah, and then tuck your toes under. So now I'm gonna bring, lift your hips, I'm gonna bring, tuck your head in. I'm gonna bring my legs here, straight legs the whole time, roll down, use your core, straight legs, straight legs, good, and land it. Yeah, so you can let your butt touch down, you don't have to pull yourself up in the air, but <laughs> that's okay. So you have really good strength in the upper body, but we're focusing on the lower body today. Okay, I just didn't want to pump. Yeah, I know. Like to like to like to like to <laughs> so yeah, so all you do is kind of keep your knees a little bit wider. Let's put it on the camera. Keep your knees a little bit wider, hip distance, so their head can fit in here. And you basically just let their shoulders roll down your legs. And then of course your hands are there to catch their legs so they don't bend their knees and kick you in the face. <laughs> but if they do it with straight legs, they'll just roll right down and it's kind of nice to have a buddy. Okay, great. So that was our floor sequence, working on the knees, quads, hip flexors. Let's go ahead and hold on to the leg loops in our hands. We're going to walk it back to come up. Okay, so walk back, walk back, back, walk back, bicep, come on up. Okay. <sighs> really good, guys. Let's get into our forward fold sequence. When we do our forward folds, I think I can actually graduate here with my leg loops back up. You okay with your leg loops there? You can put it back on your hand folds if you, if you like. I think they're a good height, but we can always do stuff. So we're gonna come into some forward folds using the swing in front of us. Really gentle forward folds, right, to begin. Let's stretch our calves. Okay, so I'm gonna round, I'm not gonna round. I'm gonna come with a flat back, bending at the hip flexors. Arch, let's do that a few times. <laughs> let's remember our land principles. Let's come down nice and slow and controlled, right? So pressing the swing down all the way to hit the top of the legs. Keep tension on the swing. Crown of the head towards the sky for angel wings at first. Right? Crown of the head towards the sky. Angel wings. Keep the chest up. Then we bend with the hip flexors. Stay arched the entire time and come on down with control. Now you're up on your toes and pushing feet in the center of the mat, but you're on your toes and pushing towards your hips towards the front of the room. Yeah, walk forward just a little bit more. Just a little bit towards me. Walk forward, walk forward. Okay. So we keep that tension on the swing the whole time. Really round through your feet. So pushing down through the balls of the feet. The heels are rising up, but we're also grounding through the heels to get the stretch through the calves. So the more you push forward, the deeper the stretch. Okay, be careful of rounding the back here. Upper thoracic spine is still arched, so you can pull your biceps up towards your ears in order to create openness through the chest. So try that. Pull your arms up towards your ears to create openness in your chest. And then drop from the hip flexors instead of rounding at the waist. So that's how you get the stretch. Good. Walk forward just a little bit more, Lizzie. Walk forward, walk forward, so there's more tension on the swing. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. So drop in a little bit more, Amy, from the hip flexors. So you don't crowd your feet. So you're pushing into the balls of the feet. Walk towards the center of your mat. There you go, right there. And then you let your entire torso hang. Right here. And align with the body. There you go. So the arch 
just coming from the sternum. <laughs> You're like poking around. Okay, good. So just reviewing everything that we learned earlier, which was just nice to hear in some of these poses with the details. So we're stretching the back of the legs. We're going to walk our hands forward into our down dog. The whole down dog sequence with the leg lifts and everything like that. It's going to work the back of the legs. What I've been doing to add a little bit more strengthening is pulsing. So we're going to inhale right leg up and we're going to stay arched, arch through the heart. So heart gaze, heart gazes forward and we're going to keep our leg lifted and we're going to pulse, pulse, keep looking up, look up, everybody look up, look up without bending your neck, look up using your eyes. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Even higher, Shoshana, even higher, stay up, 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 good. And switch legs. Pull that knee into the chest. Grounding out, happy dog, wag the tail. Take a moment to reset. So it is really challenging to look up just using the heart and gazing with the eyes instead of bending the neck. So try it. Pull forward onto your fingertips, lift the left leg, and rotate your chest towards the front of the room here. So you're pulling your shoulder blades down your back, your arms are strongly engaged. And then your right, left leg is lifted and it pulses up, 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 up. Keep it up there and pulse. So you're lifting as high as you can, and then you're lifting higher. Yes, up, up, all the way. Get, the, get up there, where we get all the way up, up, up. There you go, with your leg. There you go. That is the engagement of the hamstrings in, in the glute, right? That intersection there. Really good, guys. Okay, lower it down, pull the knee to nose, counterbalance, squeeze, and then happy dog, let the hips sway from side to side a little bit. Real gentle. Let's get into some of our quad stretches here. Walk your hands back to the front of the mat. I usually bring my hands really, 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 really forward in a down dog. So I'm getting maximum length. And then for our floating plank, we're bringing our legs level with the earth. Okay. From here, we're going to bend both knees and hook outside in. Mm -hmm. So stacked. Can you feel the bones stacking? Can you look down as your wrist? Elbow and shoulder in one straight line. Outside in with the feet. Outside in the other way. Outside in. And then pull your heels towards your bum because we don't let the feet float away for this one. There you go. And now we're going to press forward and back. So this is an upside down dog. Really strong and controlled. Straight arms the whole time. So feel the bones stacking. This is a nice belly stretch. Keep the arch behind the heart the whole time and the back of the neck long. So you're finding that sternum lift even here and that external rotation of the shoulders, internal rotation of the thighs. Yeah. And then pay attention to the crown of the head. And you pay attention to long lines of energy in the spine. Okay, beautiful. Let's keep the right foot tucked. Left foot down, standing splits. Okay. Once we come into standing splits, you can hop your left foot a little farther, further forward. And then we're going to ground down let's do standing split twists. So the legs are really straight, straight as physically possible. Right hand stands down, left arm towards the sky. Other way around. <laughs> left hand down, right arm towards the sky. There you go. Hop your foot all the way forward, Marika, all the way forward. Hop, 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 there you go. So then your foot is right underneath here. Grab behind your back for the swing, behind your back. Reach for your sacrum, there you go. Grab for the swing, open it up. Spin out to the side. We did all this yesterday, so we're only gonna do a little bit. So let the toes turn out to nine o'clock on your mat. Spin out to the side. So now we're in the nine and three plane, right? Side plane. So can you get into a side plane? Can your belly face the front of the room? So Amy, nine and three on the mat. Turn your toes out. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful, walk, so release and just walk it back to center. Come on down, happy dog, shake dog. Your hand should be a foot or two in front of your mat, all the way forward, feet in the center of the mat, wag your tail, all the way forward, stretch it out. Even further, all the way. So Amy, you're really long, so go ahead and stretch it out. Two feet in front of your back. Beautiful. <sighs> Pause. 
Inhale is lift, our left leg up, bend the knee. So one legged dog is, is enough, so you can just stay here, Lizzie, too. You don't have to go too far where you're pressing your right heel down, pressing your chest towards your standing leg. Just keeping nice long lines of energy. If you want to come into standing splits, we straighten left leg towards the sky. Ground the right arm, left hand extends. Both legs really straight, really straight. There you go. You can hop your right foot forward a little bit more to stack. There you go. And then standing split twist, let's reach back behind you towards your sacrum. Thumb up and then hold on to the swing. You can spin out to the side just by turning your toes to three o'clock. Yeah, and then hop your foot back to the, towards the center of the mat. So you always want to keep your stacking right ankle. So get your ankle and your hip and your knee. So hop your foot that way. Hop your foot. There you go. And now turn your belly to the front of the room. Side plane. Yeah. So working with that nine is great position. Open it up. And come on back down. Lots of legs. Happy dog. We're going to come into the incredible hook push ups and the quad stretch from there. So walk your feet forward, walk your feet forward, all the way through angel wings. Stay up. Once you're in angel wings, stay up. Crown of the head towards the sky. Push your hips forward. Yes, get the leg loops in your hands. Okay, okay great. So we have our push up position that we like to do here. We have our elbow hook. Let's just go right into our elbow hook and hang. Maybe you go walk your feet to the back of the mat. So from an elbow hook, we come into archer by bending both knees, looking outside in. You got it. Okay. Remember to flex. So flexing this with your hands all the way up here. Yes, open up the shoulders. Drop the heart, keep the head relaxed in line with the body. Just see if you can make that small adjustment instead of just drooping the head towards the ground. Keep the head in line with the body and drop the heart, drop the sternum. So Lori, your hands look like they're too far out in front of you. Is that better for your shoulder? Okay, just wanted to make sure we're on the same page. So Sam, can you flex a little bit more? Your hands are closer to your waist. We want them by your ears. You can pull them up. That's a totally different stretch. Yay. Okay, great. So now what we do is we do this big bump, right? We get our backpack on and squeeze. Squeeze. Yeah, you can bring your feet down to the ground if you need to. But yeah, everyone's back there. Good job. Okay, we're in our backpack. Maybe this is as far as we go for today. We can do our airplane wings from side to side. Tee the arms, right? Can we get the nice long lines of energy? Can we stack? We can get these on a little bit tighter if you need to. Excellent. From there, I'm going to pull my hands down towards the ground. And I'm going to tuck for a shoulder stance. So my feet are engaged. I pull my hips up and I stack my tailbone over my crown of the head. Okay? Let's try that a couple times. Come back through skydiver. And then tuck. Maybe that's as far as you go. Okay? You can always do this with the feet on the ground too. Just hang up here. Just kind of nice. You don't have to hook your feet. Hooking your feet, of course, is going to make it much more intense. So, you guys want to try moving into incredible hook push ups? So, if you don't want to do incredible hook push ups, I want you to just come with your feet on the ground and do our regular push ups here. Okay? If you want to try for the incredible hold push-ups, we're going to hook the feet outside in, hold on to the leg loops in your hands, and press, 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 come all the way up. Really strong. Press, 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 lift. <laughs> Look up, head up, crown of the head towards the sky. That's it, Amy. Crown the head up, Sam. Crown the head up so we're arched the whole time. Yes, that's it. So stay looking forward the whole time. We never look down. We look. Where do we look? No one's going to talk to me now? Really? Uh, All right, I'm going home. That's it. I've had it. <laughs> up. We look up. Are you looking up? <laughs> Good. All right. Put those back on. Backpack. Archer. So from Archer, you can just hang out here if you're feeling done, or you can come through a Superman, Superwoman. So I want you to look towards your hands and see if they are shoulder distance, like a T, 
and then press them down towards the ground as strong as possible. Even more, press them down. Yes, that's our superwoman. So stay here if you're happy in Archer. Otherwise, I want you to try and tuck and flip. Right? So we're going to do that a few times in Archer. We're going to tuck and flip. That means our feet are going to come back behind us. Just see if you can get that. If you can tuck and flip here, then we're going to do it in the air. Do it step by step. Yeah, but see where my feet are? If the feet don't hook, I love your sense of humor, then when you come back over, you're going to miss the hook. Which means you'll just wind up back in Superman or on foot. There you go. So front archer, just tuck and flip a few times. Yeah. Good. Great. Now we're gonna move into the back flip and then come into a back bend. And we'll do that a few times, okay? You guys wanna just take a break and watch? Yeah. For the next one? Great. So it's a little bit easier to do when it's down on when the leg loops are down on the elbow creases, but you can also do it from the leg loops on the shoulder. So I'm gonna skip a few steps. You go right here. And then I'm gonna tuck, here, tuck and get my feet back behind me, okay? Then I can reach back and grab. My swing is a little, my leg loops are a little too close, so my body ergonomics, let me adjust them one more time. Brand new swings have to stretch out a little for doing new clips. Let's bring this one back up. So after we get our feet over our head, we can reach back and grab for the ankles. Okay? So we'll try it a few times and I'll spot you because you have to keep the knees bent. Okay? The feet don't go towards the sky. So cocoon for a little bit before you head out, okay? Just take a few moments under me. Yeah. Okay. So top feet come back behind you. You're going to keep the knees bent the entire time so that your feet are laid, your heels are going towards your sit bones. And then you can grab. Then to flip back around, you can kind of ump and push with your hips. And if that doesn't happen, just give a little push with your hands and then bring your hands right back down to the ground. So if you do it kind of quickly, you can kind of get momentum and come over. But if you feel stuck, which happens here, you can slide back into the elbows, which is a little scary, and then you'll come back around. Okay? Let's just do a few moments of playtime where we try to get our flip both forward and back. Okay? It's okay. So, shoulders stand. Pull your hands down towards the ground. Tuck your pelvis so you're stacked, so head down towards the ground, straight up and down, stack, yes, and then keep your knees bent, keep coming towards me, no, not towards the sky, keep your knees bent, no, nope. hands towards the ground, and then arch, oh, okay. so you don't want to move your hands, so pull your hands down towards the ground and then don't move them, okay. yeah, come on back one more time, yeah, we practiced this a bunch yesterday, so we're kind of cheating, let's just try it a few times, but you're doing great. Yeah, just see if you can grab for your ankles. Sometimes it's a little scary because it feels like the leg loops are gonna come off. Okay. You wanna come back in? Forward fold, archer, leg loops on the shoulders. Yeah, just have a few moments of playtime. Then we'll come back and do our inverted 